James, thanks for joining us on FA TV. Um, first things first, we've had a barbecue tonight and just wanted to get your take on the, the, the Zulu dancing and, and the food as well. Yeah, it was good. It's obviously nice to uh, just have a change and mix it up from the dinner. We've obviously been uh, here a long time and you're eating the same food, so it's nice to have a change and uh, it's a great setting and nice to be outside. So, um, like you say, the dancing was very entertaining as well. So, yeah, it's been a good night. Obviously, Slovenia game, you, you started the match, you played 90 minutes, you set up the winning goal. It couldn't really have gone any better for you last night. No, I mean, it was obviously great to be involved and, um, you know, get a second chance after the first game. And, um, you know, it was a massive night for us all. Um, it was a big game. Um, we knew the stakes were high and knew we hadn't performed as well as we, we can do up to that point. So um, we, we had to deliver and we managed to do that. So to be part of a big performance at a World Cup like that was great. When did you know you were starting the game? When did you find out? Um, we did team shout the day before, so um, we sort of had an inkling that that might be the side, and then it was named as usual just before we went to the ground. So, um, yeah, it, it was good. We felt prepared. We had some good training after the second game and um, um, a few a quiz and things like that. And, um, you know, everyone pulled together, and which, which you do uh, as a squad, especially when things maybe aren't going as well as you would like. So... Yeah, I think we're in a good place at the moment, uh, coming off a good result and uh, hopefully we can keep improving and keep getting better and better. You talk about that togetherness, the group, and what, what was it like inside the dressing room before such a crucial game? What, what was said by the players? Yeah, I mean, I, well, I think we just knew it was time to deliver. Um, I think before that we were maybe a bit too up, uptight and, you know, desperate to do well. And, you know, we're still obviously desperate to do well, but maybe a bit more relaxed and maybe that helps. We're into the tournament now, we're, we're through the group and and uh, hopefully that can help us kick on, relax and know what we're doing and, uh, and I suppose you play your best football when you're enjoying your football and, and you are relaxed so hopefully we can do that and you especially enjoy your football more when you're winning so hopefully we can keep winning. Personally what did it feel like when you put the cross in, Jermaine puts it in and, and England take the lead, there must have been a real kind of outpouring of relief to, to get that first goal? Yeah I think it's important to get the, first, the, the goal in the first half, it obviously helps settle us down and um, it's obviously nice to, to score and get ahead in the game. and Maybe it opens up the game slightly because they know they have to come out a bit more than maybe if they'd have just sat back. So it was nice to get the goal and to have a part in the goal as well was was fantastic. So, uh, yeah, it, it was great. It was a great finish from JD, you know. Um, the ball's out easy to, to, to control if there's a long ball or crosses coming in and there's been a lot of talk about the keepers struggling but uh, and defenders as well. It's also tough for the, the strikers. We've done a lot of crossing and finishing in training and um, you know when the ball's been whipped in, it, it moves both ways and so it's equally as difficult for the striker. So it's a great finish from them. The partnership with Glenn Johnson is at right back. There, there seems to be a good balance between the two of you in, in going forward together as a pair, complementing each other, you making the runs back to, to fill in. Did that feel comfortable, natural, the two of you together? Um, yeah, I mean, I think the more you play with a fullback, you've got pairings all over the field, the centre half, the strikers, the midfielders, you know, the fullbacks and the, and the wingers, and the more you play with someone, the better you get. But, you know, it's definitely an easier job to play with someone when you've got a player with Glenn Johnson's quality behind you. You know, he's a top player, he's, he's fantastic going forward, he talks to you, he's, he's overlapping, you know, he's good defensively. So he's a great player and... Um, you know, to, to have a player like that behind you, and you know, you're going to get plenty of the ball. It's obviously great to play with someone like that. 